Lord Ethan. Well, As I was sequence. saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. As always. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. That's a lot of generations. Yeah. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Yeah, that's Lord a title. The Tall. He's <laughs> back the River Valley from the White Hills. He was slightly bigger than what his they call father. My father? <laughs> Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. There we go. to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. Time I don't have, apparently. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. That's a very small training area. did not bear this responsibility alone. Yeah, you're a fairly small every house for the looks Lord of before it. Him chose True. one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. I bet I have to pick between Duncan and the uh, Scarface guy's name. Roland, you do. Yeah. Roland or Duncan. Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. Oh boy. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Poaching? I'm gonna guess poaching. Lord Ethan. Me. What's going Who on? Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! Oh, here we go. <laughs> we all fucking know it! <laughs> Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing. That's pretty severe, actually. Two shields and three spears. Is what Sir Roiland said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. Calling it's out not revolutionary stuff in front of the people that right. punish you Me is kind of a sign that you've family to accepted that you're not guilty. two coins to rub together since Lord you Gregor left us to rot here. Punishment. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy. Go. Lord Ethan. I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. He's coming. You'll address him as Lord. Is there an option at the end to stop kicking? Because I think that's going to give me brownie points. Lord Ethan, <laughs> you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. Paragon or Renegade, yeah. Let's see where this is going. I prefer to look at it as... Are you more willing to go for trust and mercy, or are you going to be... Shake his fingers! Practical. If you punish me... You'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. It is a tough choice. My lord. My family depends on me. Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> That's actually really tough. He can have his mercy. Our house tends to its people. See this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan. You are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, They're both right. we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. To be fair, you technically did when you went to steal. Yeah. Now you've just paid someone who stole from you. Yeah, I figured. You're like, good job. Have some money. That was certainly unpleasant. But a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Oh, oh that, lord what? Duty. I meant to go. Was your duty. Okay. I meant to go, was I right? But whatever. Said. 
I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you yeah, in the face of disloyalty. Again. You we're need someone. Like, hey, we get paid if we rob them. Yeah. That was my reasoning. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Oh. And I'm sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. Me? Oh, God's no. <laughs> I can't get involved. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve as such. There are two capable men for the role. Ah, oh, here we go. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. This is going to be a tough choice, I think. Yeah. It's a fun one, though. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. This also seems to be a pretty far-reaching decision. Your Sentinel will wear this for so... all to see. I'll make the right choice as Sentinel. Like all the criticism that Telltale gets for their Come choices speak not mattering, you're ready to convene the small council, point. my lord. Arguably. I know I'll be interested to see who you pick. Yeah, I don't know who to go because they're both good. Yeah, that's the thing. There's not a straight up bad answer here. Yeah. Just one's more harsh than the other, but even then, oh. And it's debatable whether it's good to be harsh or uh, permitting. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. Has anything gone missing? No, doesn't look that way. Seems Eric was the only one to resort to thievery. But I'm still worried about our stores. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our eggs <laughs> yeah. to the I trust don't involve you me to in make this. the right decision. We'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house that was a surprisingly important choice for me examining a pig. I'll see to the arrangements. Yeah, I'm not actually sure what that does. I feel like that's just a dialogue thing. Yeah. Could be wrong though. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask. Who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the Sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. I bet that's what he says, Thank except you. reverse. Pretty much. I appreciate your advice. That's not advice! <laughs> God damn it! That's him saying, I want the role. That did not help me at all. Hurry, get that sword out. Can I? I can walk faster. Oh, talk to that guy. Ah, oh, here Malcolm. we go. Hello, Malcolm. Definitely want to talk to Malcolm. Ethan, or should I say, Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. Oh, here we go. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow, at first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? Interesting. She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just. Try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. Yeah. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choices. use a sentinel. Oh, here we go. If I may be so bold, 
Sir Royland is the man for the job. Interesting. Yeah, It'll everyone has a fine choice. On this. And I trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Oh, here we go. And I bet she has the exact opposite advice. <laughs> hmm. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Oh, okay. did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... <laughs> He's not much of a leader, though. What? Well, there's one of those leaders that just kind of got Ethan, thrown into please. it. What do you suggest I do? You must be strong. I mean, other Decisive. people are getting trained for their job you before they the all die. Yeah. Remember. He didn't seem to take the training all that well. Just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. I only wish you did too. You've I will make this character into a whiny little bitch yet. Thank you. <laughs> See, that was advice. That wasn't saying yeah, she wanted. Say so. It was an advice in a way. So this Malcolm again. Yeah, this is an interesting choice because uh, clearly they're very different, but they're both right. Yeah. It's not one of those choices of are you picking the good guy Lord or the bad up. guy? Swing left. They're not bad. Hey. They just have conflicting Wrong. views. I didn't know so dogs well, could hold swords. Word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. Oh, I can go both. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. That's a bit manipulative. He undermined your authority <laughs> and made you look weak to the White Hills. I Just a tad. Do that to you. Just a tad. And <laughs> saying so, I think your father would be proud. Your words are wise, Sir Royland. Oh, I you, feel like you're humoring him. I, I am humoring him. <laughs> <laughs> so, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Ah, oh, it really is a tough choice. Yeah. Can't this wait. first episode is very good at tough choices. I can straight up give the rest to them now. I, right. I think if you try, they refuse. Okay, fair enough. I think yes, my lord. I didn't actually try it. Here we go. This, I was having a good still. The state of our defenses. Are these men because ready? apparently we don't have enough food. This lot ready? No, but they will. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. That could work, We've got in to a way. project power, especially when you're weak. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training. That's the they're not expecting Thank you to project power, though. <laughs> and, uh, I'll be sure to watch well, out for more desserts. Apparently the White Hills are five times as large as you. So you're probably known as being a small no, no. house. Mm. Them, yeah? He just straight up said, I expect there'll be more deserters thanks to your decision. What an ass. Well, you chose against what he recommended. Yeah, I gonna guess. Wait, oh, I can go down here. Alright. Oh, I can enter the tower? I think that ends the scene. I could be wrong. I thought speaking to him for the small council would end the scene. Maybe yes, back. Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number yeah, of... Yeah, I have looking back out of this. I'm pretty sentinel. sure you can. Oh. What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. That's not what I, I asked. Studied it That's it literally his perspective. Maybe okay. black, <laughs> but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. 
Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. Ransom or a robbery? We may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. He holds a good point. Let's go to the tower. I want to see what's in here. It's kind of amazing how many choices they throw at you, isn't it? Yeah, it seems a lot more than um, Walking Dead, at least. Especially in season, season two. Yeah. Do I get yeah, anything? They start out pretty strong oh, in this one. I oh, yeah, just get to look around. Alright. I don't know if there's anything you can see. I think it's just a vantage point. Seems kind of weird then, but... Yeah, I... Maybe you could next. have pointed things out before you went down there. Probably. Alright, that'll be enough. So you've made your decision? I think I've made my decision. Of course, it will give you your little, you know, slow-mo, look my side Lord, to side Are thing. you now ready of course to name Sentinel? Yeah, I am. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Awesome. Convene the council. It's going to make me wait, isn't it? Maybe? Just the scene makes me feel like it's going to make me wait. One thing about this series is... No? Okay. No, apparently not. Uh, is it's a bit hard to remember what happens in what episode. Mm. They kind of bleed together. This is a very small council. It only you may sit. Literally a small council. Yeah, I believe Lord people. Ethan has reached his small decision. Council for Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Oh. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. <laughs> Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. Have you now? I have. Have you now? I have. Sir Royland de Gore, you will That's be my picked. sentinel. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> God be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? It does kind of feel like we it wanted you to pick the, the other guy, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of does. We can devise a plan to deal with him. Droyland. The huh. Boltons like need our people yeah, we'll to harvest the, the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not. <laughs> uh, I love how quickly that I comes into play. Right he cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Let Duncan speak. I'd like to hear what he has he to say. He is the sentinel, but that doesn't Duncan? give the power of the entire <laughs> small council. Lord, Ethan, you have chosen your sentinel. You should hear from him first. Oh. <laughs> okay. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall. And make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is, and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. <laughs> Thank the gods, Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. <laughs> really? Why not make an offering for <laughs> peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! You have three choices here. What? Uh, yeah, you assumed it would be two. Okay. So, bargain with the armwood, diplomacy, or fight. Fighting seems pretty stupid to me right now. 
But you did name him your sentinel. I did. Are you regretting that choice already? No. My sentinel is skilled <laughs> in the ways of war. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsay Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they able, my lord? My lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. I have made two new enemies. <laughs> we are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. You it's meet him so at the beach with as much force yeah. as we can muster. It's still going? Wait. Yeah. Oh, that'd be it. <laughs> you got more choices to make. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have enough soldiers to strike fear in a madman like Ramsay Snow. He holds a good point. <laughs> Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. It is Lord a fair Ethan? point when Ramsay Snow fights without armor. He barely wears clothes when he's fighting an invading force. Yeah. I think into the Great Hall would be a good choice here. I will meet him in the Great Hall. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. I just agree with him, though. Yeah, but other people were second guessing him. True. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our Ironwood. Listing your choices. No matter what, yep. I will stand beside you, my lord. Where your sentinel belongs. More listing choices. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. I get the feeling I made a couple of wrong choices there. Even though no choice is technically wrong, but <laughs> it could have gone better. You have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. The way it seems to be setting up to me seems like there's going to be, always be those who question your leadership. Endings here. Which is like why you need life, allies. A lot of life or death situations Family. coming up. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing. I can see what this says. Who can help us? What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me you want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter, but what's more, he has the will to fight, a hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. I hear, but Do I don't agree. Remember the Miller's boy, how he tormented you. This seems stupid. I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. Why would the Miller's boy torment but when Lord's Asher son? saw it, mm -hmm. he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the kids Miller's boy kids. by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Hilarious. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to do. So basically, to Asher is the black Asher sheep of hesitate. your family, but he's he also acts. brutally loyal. You need that. Mm. You have many fine qualities. But... I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. Here we go. I can tell him to fetch him or not, can't I? Yep. Okay. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. A black sheep could be helpful. Fine. <laughs> Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. It does definitely sound like it's good Thank to have you, him here, doesn't Ethan. it? Mm. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. I get the feeling that protection's not going to come. I believe we're about to find out. Oh, all right. Oh, 
Oh! Yeah, this is an interesting one. I could fake it. Hmm. What would be the... What are you gonna do here? Marjorie? Back out. Oh, too late. I backed out. Oh. Okay. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you got I know. To know. I saw the key. I was like, I know what the Thank other you. thing is for. What the hell is the key for? Mira. That Chester? Look, the other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's oh, sorry, anything I can't tell if she's giving do. someone the evil eye or not. Your poor yeah, she kind of has that. I can't uh, imagine how she you has feel. that king's land. Your sweet to her. Yeah. Thank you. Lady I was thinking the feeling that she's a spy. Always saying how important friends and why, allies are in King's Landing. Just know I will be here for you if you ever. Oh, this did not go well. What? She looks happy. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Good sign, right? Nope. <laughs> are you all right, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. See, that's wow. kind of the point you forget. He said I was too easily swayed. She had swayed. to go to Joffrey. Yeah. And, and he ask for reminded mercy. me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Oh, she hates Understand, me. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. So remember when you said there are no bad choices? This is simply there are always not bad how choices. things are done, Mira. Yeah. Not in King's Landing. Um, as far as I can tell, that's so, straight up the wrong really. choice. Huh. <sighs> Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family, if you'll excuse me, my lady. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> my lady. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> what you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know. I, I can help you if you'd like. And your family. If you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can he help How me? He's a cold boy. <laughs> my problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, my lady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. Maybe he's one of Iris' little birds. I, I really Maybe. must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. I think he might be. Hmm. That looks so sketchy. It really does. They hit all the king's guard just do for some reason. Yeah. Where the bloody hell is They hide their faces. It's he should be sign. here. So let's see how all of your choices hungry. balanced out. I'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Okay, so they've clearly heard. Your men are ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. 
Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is he? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord <laughs> Ramsay Whoa. of the full I love that authority one. of Thank the you, Warden Lord. Of... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? <laughs> May I offer you bread and salt, oh, Lord Ramsay? Learned. I loathe bread and salt. Didn't work though. Right. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young. <laughs> this. Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so now, special about the relationships. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our Ironwood is so highly sought after. My on. father is not so easily impressed. <laughs> not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things, <laughs> but not this, apparently. Hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> I made the right choice there. Look at that. More forest. Oh boy. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Come out where I can see you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you. There we go. <sighs> Warden of the North. I mean, he seems like a standout fella. Win. Oh shit! Can say. Did you not expect an actual choice? I Nor to show Neil. <laughs> Neil. Oh, my lord. Ha! <laughs> it wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. <sighs> Worthless the crown, choice. however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. Can I say you can't trust a white hill? It was <laughs> a forester squire who did it. One white hill soldier dead. One bolt. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal yeah, probably soldier. Not the right thing to say. Probably arm. not, but <laughs> I'm standing by. Can you welcome Fair me enough. into your hall like a proper lord? Hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that. Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? Do you? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. Correct. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Yeah. <laughs> do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next 50 generations? The little Lord does. <laughs> point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. Hilarious. This is what happens when no Ramsay gets power. Problem. Yeah, he has fun Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men <gasps> within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. Whitehill men... Never. It's already done. 
I bet one of them is the wanker that I was supposed to kill. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. That's. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Royland, don't. <laughs> yeah, that's a good smile there. Yeah. Forest. Good sign. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. <laughs> That's pretty justified, to be fair. I never Allegedly. had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? This Let her go. Ramsay loves hunting. She's quite pretty. Your sister. We get along well. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Not having that. Nope. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Holy crap! But I don't want a bold lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! My lord! Oh no! Even though you did bend the knee. Holy crap! I think we've come to an understanding. Oh, Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Oh, come on. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Oh, take the boy as your ward. Oh, no! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Brian! Lovely meeting all of you. We'll that was interesting. Sometime. No one you expected? Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Please. Stop! Don't let him take me! me. You will not take Stop him! Help me, Ryan! Please! Ryan! No. 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 Do something! Ethan? My son. Well. <laughs> Did I just get a game over? No. No? That's your ending. Wow, all right. <laughs> Interesting. Out of curiosity, did you get him to live on? Ethan no, sacrificed does. himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this Oh, that's going to bite me. My oh, sister yeah. asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Oh, I see where this is going. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Dun, 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 dun. There we go. So, 43.7%. Really? Okay. Yes. Yeah, you want to know the interesting about, thing about that? Nothing changes if you wait for him, except that he survives. There is no benefit to not waiting for him that I've found. Oh, alright. Kind of weird. Free, Derek? Oh, okay. 44%. 35.8 big Royal and a Sentinel. And people are too soft. Wow. And over half the grains in the Great Hall. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think of that game so far? Not bad, actually. It seems like the whole point behind it is, as you go, you're either gaining or losing resources, all leading to what will probably be a big finale. Last episode isn't out yet, but it definitely looks like your choices are all going to be Ooh, yeah. taken into account. You know, like in Mass Effect 3. Ugh. <laughs> Don't. No. Meh. I'm sure it'll be great. It'll be better than that ending. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm so surprised that he died. 
Yeah, you don't I, really I, see that actually, It's Game of Thrones, I should be yeah, surprised. Yeah, that's the whole thing. God damn it. Best things were the reviews when it first came out. One of them just said, my favourite character died. 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. 